How's it going everybody? Welcome to the first episode of this series of Savage Moon, one of my all-time favourite little gems of the PlayStation Network store. Really didn't get enough attention in my opinion. It's a tower defence game and essentially you're landing on meteors, you're trying to protect mining operations from these little dudes called insecticides. And like I say, it's, it's a fantastic little game, it's really quite cheap as well in price right now. It came out quite a while ago, so I already have all the trophies and everything, but I've deleted all my saved data and I'm going to have a, a fresh start, so let's go. <clears throat> so before we get started guys, just to show you that I do have all the trophies, and look at that, 2009 I got these, so we're talking, well, nearly seven years ago now, well, six and a half years ago. Um, but I'm excited to revisit the game. I've deleted all the um, the save data that I had on the game um, before I started. Um, well, before I re-downloaded this game actually, because I originally deleted it. So, we should have a fresh start. Alright, let's, uh, let's go. Okay, the first iMoon Nebula is... Oh, how do you even say that? Oi? Um, obviously normal, and also um, you didn't see in the video, but I've also turned the uh, turned the training hints off actually. So we're kind of winging it. I haven't played this in a good, I don't know, like I say, six and a half, seven years. So we'll see if I remember um, remember what I'm doing. All right, what we look at looks a bit desolate. Uh, there's my there's my hole that they're not allowed to get into. So where are they gonna come from then? That's the first thing we gotta find where where the enemies are gonna. Oh, I guess it's there. That hole right there. Okay, well, so I guess maybe we should put some. Uh, so you press X to put a tower down. And I always used to put them right right near the uh, the entrance of where they were coming from. So what do we got? We got 150 credits. We got no drop pods left just now. I'll upgrade this immediately. It's pretty simple. It's uh, point and click essentially. And also, I think you can. Can you speed up? Yeah. So you can advance the wave, and it gives you a bit of extra credit. And here we go. Here they come. And my uh, my machine gun's got this. No problem at all. Look at that. Lovely. That's the way it's done. And now I've got another five drop pods. You see in the top corner there. So I think I'll um, give this little. This machine gun a friend. Maybe another one. Can I put one here? Maybe where's the first? That's the first place. Okay. Um, and also you you don't have to build on all these hills. I'm doing that right now. But you can you can build on like the flat stuff here that isn't lava. So maybe I'll do that just to uh, block their path off. Oh, and here they come. So upgrade this boy and this one as well. So the first, um, I remember the first uh, gun you get is these, yeah, these machine gun type things. Um, but there's also mortars, I think. So how do I? Ah, you've got to, you've got to buy the tech development, and then, then you can place it. Let's uh, upgrade this. And this. Oh no, we haven't got enough money right now. I've got little wormy things coming out now. Eat shit. <coughs> Apologies if I sound a bit weird, I've got a bit of a cold. Just uh, just leaving me. Okay, so now it should have a mortar tower, is that right? There it is. So I'll put that bad boy about there. Couldn't really put it any closer. That See, that annoys me. I'm a bit OCD, so that will annoy me. And can I immediately upgrade them? Yep. Upgrade that immediately. So, so you see the range of this thing. I want to click on it, hopefully. Oh, no, apparently not. Oh, no, you can. See the, um, the out. Those uh, white triangle things that are going around? And yep, there, there the mortar shells are going in there. Lovely job. Easy as that. Nice and simple. And I think you can even. So, what, how do you upgrade them more then? How do you do that? You. Tech development. Upgrade 3 and 4. Okay, so that allows you to upgrade all your towers to levels 3 and 4. Which is now done. And we'll upgrade this one immediately. And this one as well. Seeing as these ones are the ones that are taking most of the uh, the flak right now. 
good idea to do the more as well, I think. Okay, so we're getting a bit, got a bit of an issue here. They're starting to get a bit close to getting past my initial line of defense. So we'll put this tower here. <coughs> now there's there's ratings for completing these levels. Um, something akin to stars, I'm not entirely sure, but I think you have to, one of them is suffer zero damage to your base, one of them's have lots of money, and one of them's have lots of drop pods left at the end. So we'll try and get those awards, um, I guess. Should I, where should I put this? I'll put this one, I'll put this one here, next to the, this one. And we'll upgrade it immediately. We'll upgrade that one as well. And we'll give you, is that level 4 he's on now? You can tell by the number of lights he's got, so yeah. That is, see, level 4, because he's got these lights here. But level 3 here, well you'll go to level 4 as well, and you as well. And you need to go up, and I'll put you up as well. So we've got 12 drop pods still left, we're on wave 6, that's indicated at the bottom uh, right corner there. Alright. Oh, quiet. Well, I could advance this wave. I'll do that. Give me some money, Ed. So I've got a little bit of extra money there. You saw that. Um, maybe an extra machine gun tower just, just here, I think. Just to mop up any stragglers. And one more. And I'll put them straight up to level 3, both of them as well. Now, as I remember, this... This level isn't doesn't get too much more difficult than what we're seeing right now, so I might not even have to drop any more pods. Just upgrade all these right to their maximum. Um, is this upgradable? No. Uh, so we're all level three minimum right now, aren't we? Yeah. Okay. Right, I'll advance the wave, I guess, as well. Advance wave. So what was that then? There was a blocking tower. Well, I don't need that right now, but I might as well do it anyway. Right, we've got a bit of extra dollar now, so what, we've got three layers here. You can go. Congratulations. You're promoted, as are you. Advanced away again. I got an extra, like, I think I got two credits there. Wow, dude. <laughs> Shall I uh, advance this next wave? Can I do that? Why can't I do that? When can I do it? When can I do it? Do I have to take out the uh, this other wave first? Is that is that the rule? I really don't remember. Well, it looks like I'm not going to be able to take out that wave before the next one's due anyway, so... No, I'm still not ready, so... I guess you have to wait for the last wave to be completely exterminated before you can advance the next one. Okay. Ah, they've got no fucking chance, have they? No chance. I'm not even getting past this bit. It's just a... Let's get, let's get nice and close. Well, that's as close as I can get, apparently. So, one of the other reasons I really enjoy this game is it kind of reminds me of Starship Troopers a little bit, which, you know, is kind of a, a cult classic film, isn't it? It's it's a terrible film, let's be honest. But it's also excellent at the same time. And I kind of I kind of love this game. I guess that's one of the reasons, because it, it does remind me so much of Starship Troopers. They're pouring out now. Christ, he's a big boy. We've got some special sort of. I, I think that's purple, maybe. And uh, well, they, just, they really have no chance, oh, do they? These guys haven't even had anything to do, have they? Just chilling. We're on wave eleven now, so I've got quite a few credits. So I'll just upgrade these boys at the end, just in case they uh, they break through this uh, this first line of defence. <coughs> from from the looks of it, I could probably got away with these three, although this one might be contributing every now and again, by the looks of his range. He's got nothing to do, just chilling out. 
Alright, we're on wave 11. And wave 12 is about to start. There we go, it started. So, we're approaching the end of the first level, guys. Oh, hello. Oh, I forgot this. Yeah, there's like dudes on towers and that. I'm not sure they actually help. But, um, you know, nice decoration. I think we're about to do it. I think this is the last guy. And there he is. Alright, the last guy, by the way. Also an excellent little um, indie game. If you haven't uh, played that, go ahead and try that out. Pretty cool little game. Okay, so... Various points bonuses here. There you go, so that's what it was. So you get a... You, well, you get an award for completing the level, you get a score award, and a health bonus award. So I guess the score award is kind of dictated by all the factors that you think. So having all the health of your base still intact, having your towers all nice and healthy, having unused drop pods, and having loads of credits. So I guess I got over the uh, the score required. Alright, eight and a half minutes. So uh, I'll leave that one there for now, guys. Um, I'll definitely keep playing and uh, tune in for the next uh, tune in for the next level.